previously on Quantum Conundrum. Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Oh, I'll need to tune that later. Feeling okay, Dolly? I think Dolly doesn't like me. Pulsar? Yeah. You may remember some of my past inventions from previous trips. So that's where this is you my talk about ice them. Gun, yeah. Freezy Ray Vaughn. All right. Yeah, I really like the the wallpapers they have here. Like the aesthetic of it. Like I don't think I would like personally for my for my taste, like it's all weird and wonky. It kind of gives this weird, almost dreamlike state of surreal architecture. I don't think that's the proper word here. Like dream, a, a, a dreamy like architecture in a sense of like something's off. Hello. Oh, I really wish I could do that. Huh. <laughs> Why are there so, so many windows? This is a compression platform which uses photoelectric energy to function. Okay. Like a spring, the energy oh, pulses below that? the platform okay. excite the molecules in the air, stimulating an elastic structural rigidity. I see. I'm sorry, can I literally not sit? Okay. You. Have I mentioned that this is my house? Yes. And that I, I don't know, live here? Do you? Really liked that before you got to it. Clearly, your parents have been raising you splendidly. Yes. <laughs> Those bullet holes.
I was wondering where I could put that. Okay. I'm so sorry, Uncle. Careful. Like, how high? How tall is your house, huh? Um. I'm so sorry. I don't even know why the door was there. Huh. Okay. Like, I'm pretty sure there's nothing here, so... Missing frames up there. Do I want to go up there to check if there's something? Fluffy. Scary. Anyway, okay, sorry. Now I see a giant pit filled with keys. Mm. Oh, this one has sunglasses. Oh, I like these. Mine now, I suppose. Okay, so there are three cats. We got the we got the story of it. <gasps> Wait. Where's the signature? Did someone else make these? Mind the gap. Hmm. I don't remember it being that far since the weird weird reference. But, uh... 
Might be. Like, how many episodes did I, did, did I initially have released on uh, my channel? Just remember, you need enough change in the mass to build up enough mechanical energy. Yes. Sorry. Think of this highly complex piece of technology as a trampoline. A double bounce could help. It's time to spring into action. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Happy for you, Uncle. Happy for you. Aren't you supposed to whistle while you work and grin and whatnot? Um. Okay. Two of these. Satisfying, isn't it? Okay, I have to go back on the other side again. Wait, the fuck? Where did it go? Pulsar, and this one is, oh uh, uh, yeah, okay. Like I said, there's some hallways that I dare are repeating, so this is a, definitely a hallway we've seen before. This is one of my past inventions, Joan the Jetpack. Really? Worked just fine, except I had some serious trouble with the hover-up feature. Somewhat flammable, some might say incendiary. Oof. You probably never saw this invention. It was my hole digger. We called it Every Day I'm Shoveling. And by we, I mean Ike. It was a little too efficient. This was the first and last time I saw it. Mm. Every Day I'm Shoveling. We close to the end of the first part. Ooh. Good night. Move on. And this one is uh yeah. The original the original sin. Mm-hmm. Mockingbird. The 
Court of Monte Cristo. Prime and probability. One can never be too safe. Pun, pun, pun. Too safe. I was quite the champion at shop put during my years in college on the track and field team. Those cracks. I see. The implication that this is like, quote unquote, the hint that uh, someone the else has been here. Electromagnetic micro reactors or electrobats, if you're so inclined, will all require a conductive polycell. Yes. You may want to try the lid as a backboard. Nice shot! Science ball. Uh huh. Of course. Okay, um. Thrilling. Is there an actual, like, other way? Mind you, it is a possibility. This is definitely the solution. Come on now. Hooped it. Is Ike gonna be okay? Oh, I heard Ike disappear. No. Just no. You sure? I kind of wonder if there's like a... Hmm. If there's like a, an achievement for breaking a lot of windows. An achievement that I probably already have. I don't know.
Let's see if we can do it in one shot. <gasps> I missed. Ah. Flushing sound? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the moment. The moment that the reference is done, if I haven't actually, like, missed it, I'm definitely, like, putting this in the, um, I believe you're close to the generator in that sector. Yes. A little further. Yes. Because I might talk about it like earlier, but the th the thing is, like Ike is an interstellar. My head feels like I've been hit squarely by a two by four, yeah. and I still haven't regained my memory. <laughs> That's splendid. I'm thinking you're in, like, a void, and the lasers don't actually destroy anything. They just send it to a void or something. Maybe. So, you need to be over by that blast door, but it looks like you're going to have to go through the object distribution system to get there. I see. Watch it now. Can I actually die from the laser? Jump! This is definitely not the right place for you to be. No. Uh... Easy now. For sure. Um, so did I not do the thing correctly for the chair? Like the chair wasn't supposed to be on the other side. No, it's just oh, why is Almost it going there. faster? I think. <laughs> okay, so the fact that the chair was in front of me didn't even be wasn't even placed by me. So, yeah, it, it just seems that some areas do tend to have... Are you serious? I was just there. How did I over-jump it? <laughs> <laughs> 